Hey, come on. It's time for bed. Wind is picking up now, but I'm looking out for this one. You can see it. I'm guessing that's Topsy. She's in the front garden. I don't like them coming in the front garden. Come on, time for bed. When they come in the front garden, it usually means it's going to be a bit of a pain to get them in. It's quite a mild night tonight. But I do like to get them in before I go to sleep. Come on. So she knows that she shouldn't be there. That's why she's being very sheepish. And now she'll try and go back up and she'll jump up on top of there now. There she goes. And then she'll disappear down the side into the park. Topsy. Come on. There she goes, she just jumped out. So this is what the front of the house looks like in the dark. Come on, there she is, see her? Psst, psst. Come on, let me open the door for you. There you go, door's open. Come on, Topsy. So I was just about to get ready for bed and it dawned on me you never really see people vlogging in the night obviously because of all the, the difficulties because it's dark and you can't see but there is still you can get the essence of uh, night time in just using uh, available light so what I thought I'd do tonight is just film my nighttime routine there's nothing to it really I just go to bed. But uh, something a bit different. Right, is she coming in now? Obviously, there's a cup of tea involved. There's always got to be. She's gone now. Wandering. Into the bushes, she's gone. Yeah, so this is what it's like in the front garden of an evening. And there's the light from the park there. Don't want to stay here too long. I might frighten people as they walk through the park. Because we've only got two lights in the entire park. And a long time ago now, these lights went off. For about a week, but I like to come out some nights and just just stand here. And I would say listen to the silence, but tonight there seems to be a pop concert going off in Crystal Palace, which is about a mile away. And you can just about hear it on the breeze. It's just nice sometimes to come out and quiet the mind and look at the shadows of the trees there and it's not about today but in this big tree we do have an owl that sometimes you hear ooh, ooh. obviously it won't be able to, to, to get that on film So I think Topsy may have just gone over to the allotments, which is fine if she has, because she can come in then through the back door. I can't shout for her, because people in the house are already asleep. I think it's about quarter to 11 I'm not quite sure anyway let's go inside
in this bag there are some beetroots that my friend Chris grew and he had thousands so he said you want some so I had a bag full I'll be preparing them probably tomorrow I love rhubarb So I'm reading two books at the moment. Food Facts for the Kitchen Front and Atomic Habits, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results by James Clear. So I'll usually try and read a few pages a night. Uh, as you know, I'm doing this all time cooking and I've already decided what the next recipe is going to be but I'll tell you about that on another occasion so I have to take some of my sniffer thing just to open my sinuses because I have a problem at the moment with blocked ears You may have noticed at night time I have a bit of a smaller cup. This is not as big as my daytime mug. And because the cats are out, the window will stay open now until they come in. It's 5 to 11. They'll be in in about 10 minutes. They don't usually stay out longer than uh, 11 o'clock. So once they come in now, I'll close the window. And we'll be off to sleep. Anyway, just thought I'd film something a bit a bit different. So I'm gonna head to sleep now. I will catch up with you later. It's a bit of a warm night tonight, so I'll put the fan on. But if it's a cold night, I'll just put my hood on.
like so to keep myself nice and warm but anyway I'll catch up with you next time so for me until then bye for now good night sweet dreams <laughs>